What's up YouTube, Spiderco1116 here again with another juice review. Today we're going to review Jazzy Boba. Alright. Jazzy Boba. What the hell is Jazzy Boba? Well, I'm going to tell you what Jazzy Boba is. Jazzy, Jasmine, is for Jasmine, okay? Boba is a tea. Boba, or bubble tea, also known as pearl milk tea. Okay, it's a Taiwanese tea-based drink invented in Taichung in the 1980s. Most recipes contain a tea base mixed or shaken with fruit or milk, to which chewy tapioca balls, balls, right over here, gee, little black, round black balls. That's the tapioca right there. I've never had tapioca. Not even pudding, but anyway. It is common to uh, add large chewy tapioca. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Boba. They nicknamed the tapioca balls Boba, uh, which is actually slang for large breasts. That's what they're saying here, large breasts. And sounds much like bubble. Thus, the term boba tea and bubble tea have become somewhat synonymous in America. All right, we could go to, where did I get this from? I got this from my local vape store, uh, Vapor Delphia. It's in South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on 9th and South. If you're ever down that way and you want to stop in, uh, they're good people. They're knowledgeable. They, uh, they're not ignorant. They don't, they don't rush you, okay? They uh, get good recommendations. Uh, I didn't think I was going to like this at first. At all, because of the jasmine. Uh, the, ta the milk and tea, if you've ever had... Well, real quick, before I get into it, let me, let me just read the description on elevated vapes. The enticing swirl of jasmine and milk tea has been blowing up on the scene for months now and just one best in show at Vape Summit 3. Okay? It says... That was on Elevator Vapes. That's half the description. Let me give you the other description. This is from Giant Vapes. It says, you already know and love the drink, the popular milky smooth boba milk tea. Imagine that in elo good form with a light touch of jasmine to really make it pop. Creamy but not heavy, sweet but not too sweet, Jazzy Boba has exploded onto the e-juice scene and develop a, developed a huge fan following for good reason. You'll know why the moment it touches your lips. Okay. It's a 70-30 ratio, 70 VG, 30 PG. I have this in three milligrams. There's the bottle. Jazzy Boba. Nice little picture. I had a warning on the side. That's it. There's the liquid. As you can see it there. All right. It's pretty uh, it's pretty thick for a 70-30, at least I think. $22 for 30 milliliters, $75 for 120 milliliters, zero. Uh, Giant Vapes has the um, the nicotine at um, zero, three, six, and 12, okay? And uh, they do have a Facebook, so if you want to check them out, Jazzy Boba on Facebook, you can do that. It looks like it's the only, the one, the one liquid, just it's Jazzy Boba. I mean, I could be mistaken. If I am and you want to correct me, go right ahead. Uh... Okay, so let's uh, let's get to it. Let's see what it smells like. If you ever had tea, hot tea, and you added a little sugar to it, add some milk or cream, stir it, drink it. That's this. Then it has that smell. That's what it's. That's what it smells like. The taste is is like what it it's, it smells like. It smells great. It smells like tea, sweet tea, maybe a black tea. I don't really get the jasmine too much, very little. It has, it's got a nice a nice smell to it. Okay, I got some on the Sigeli 100 watt fluff, so I'm going to drip for you. All right. Uh, let's get some liquid in there. I didn't get enough liquid. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Drip some. Okay, let's put that there, put that there. I got this set at 35 watts, 0.5 ohms. And uh, all right, let's do this. All 
I don't even worry about the smoke alarm because the clouds are just dropping. You can see them, see them just drop. All right, down. Boom. Thick, dense, tasty. There's no throat hit. It's a three milligram, no throat hit whatsoever. No. Even out the nose, smooth, nothing. No throat hit. Okay. Vapor, as you can see, it's just dropping. I'll even let me bump it up to uh I'll bump it up to 40 watts. I like this at 35 watts. I've tried to go up to 50, I tried 60, opening up the airflow away. Not there's some juices you can't you can't vape at high wattages. I mean, you can. It's all a matter of personal preference. All right, here we go. 40 watts. Let's let's see. Ain't bad at 40. It, it's not not bad at 40 watts either. Let's go to 40 watts too. Yeah, they just fall right down. The taste. Like I said, hot tea, boil water, do the, dip your tea bags, you add some sugar, you get your milk or your cream, you put that in there, you stir it up, you get that nice creamy, uh, light tan, like a, almost like a khaki color tea when the milk's all mixed in, and you give it a sip, that's what this tastes like, and it leaves a, it leaves a great flavor in the back of your tongue. And uh, the jazz, as far as the jasmine goes, I think there's a perfect amount of jasmine. If, I think it's actually adding to the liquid. My wife actually didn't like this liquid. She thought that it, uh, the jasmine was a little too strong for her. Taste is subjective. And uh, she said that if it, if it didn't have as much jasmine in it, that, you know, which, like I said, I don't think it has that much jasmine in it. As I'm vaping and vaping and vaping, I've been vaping it for a while. It's it's just it tastes great. It's just starting to you know all come together, and it's just uh, you can't even like say that it's perfumey or it's flowery or floral or anything. It's it's not. It's not at all. But um, my wife did say when she she inhaled and she exhaled out her mouth, she could get she tasted the jasmine. Maybe she just don't like to taste the jasmine. But then when she inhaled and exhaled out her nose, she said the jasmine was a little more subtle. So she did. She did like it, you know, inhaling and exhaling out the nose. She said that it, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, if I could chew this liquid, I would. That's how good it is. This makes me want to go out and try the drink because I've never had bubble tea or boba tea. I don't know who sells it. Maybe Starbucks. I don't know. Uh... But yeah, it tastes great. It's a, it's a, it's an awesome liquid. I didn't think I was going to like it because I heard, I heard there was jasmine in it. I don't like floral vapes, but uh, this is a winner. I'd have to say it's definitely a winner. If I could, uh, two thumbs and two toes. If I had ten thumbs, I'd put ten thumbs up. Okay, it's great. I like it a lot. Uh, hopefully, you'll like it too. If you like what you heard, go out and purchase it. If you don't like what you heard, then you don't have to go out and purchase it, I guess, right? So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's about all I have to say uh, about the Jazzy Boba. Alright, so uh, don't drip and drive, people. And if you are going to drip and drive, do it responsibly. Uh, Spiderco1116, signing off. Until next time.